Not many people seem to realize this, but OpenAI did not just drop ChatGPT 5 this week. They also released two free open source models. Models that after watching this video, you'll know how to access, how to use, all for free. So let me show you exactly how to do that. If you dive into this page, which I'll link to in the description, there is the information about the open models by OpenAI, which are advanced open weight reasoning models to customize for any use and run anywhere. And I think this is fantastic news. So there's a 120 billion parameter model and a medium sized open model that is 20 billion that can run on most desktops and laptops, which is even pretty impressive. So what I'm going to do in this situation is show you this. However, you can also use the interactive demo if you click try now there. You can chat with this right here. So I know how far is the sun away from the earth. So you can chat with it and you can see the type of answers that it gives. And here you can also choose between the 120 and the 20 billion parameter options. Here it seems to be a bit slow. When I tested it in NA10 right here, which I'll show you in a second, the results were pretty good. I mean, they weren't the fastest I've ever seen, but they weren't the slowest either when it comes to open source models. So here it's still thinking. And yeah, this is another thing I wanted to mention. This is a reasoning model. So it, if you want, you can, or it will give you the thoughts it has gone through when it comes to deciding the answer that it is going to give you. So over here, this is still thinking, but if I show you this in terms of the output, we get the content. So here I asked it for, I believe, two paragraphs about dog training. So here it gives me the actual content and it also gives me the reasoning. The user wants two paragraphs about dog training, straightforward, provide content, notice allowed content, just comply. So th that was the reasoning behind it. As you can see here, thought for 14 seconds, it gave me that, it gave me a table right here. The actual distance varies over the years, so it's also giving me another table right there. So the sun is on average 150 million kilometers away and sunlight takes a little over eight minutes to reach us. Fair point. Cool. So this is the GPT OSS playground, but how do you actually use this in something like NA10 or Make or any other no-code automation platform? That is a great question. And for that, we're going to use this hugging face OpenAI GPT OSS 120 billion or 120B page. Once you get here, you can read the information, but what we are interested in is the deploy button right here. Click inference providers. And once you're here, click on curl. And this will give you all the information that you will need. You can copy this. The only other thing you will need is the authorization token from Hugging Face. As you can see, we need the HF token. For that, just go to your profile right here, choose access tokens, and you can create a new token right here. So you give it a name right here, and you choose the different scopes that you want to give it. So just take the things that make sense for the permissions that you want to give it. After that, hop into an A10, and we're going to start by making an HTTP request. So import the curl, hit paste, hit import, and that's pretty much it in terms of the codes you will need. You have the open, or the URL right here, the endpoint, which is router.huggingface.co v1 chat completions. We need to paste in the authorization token right there. And this is where the magic happens. So if we open this up, you'll see that we have the role, which is user, and we have the content, what is the capital of France. So let's just try this out. In my case, instead of using the barrier right here, I already have an authentication token that I saved as a credential. So I'm just going to choose that. Hugging face. I'm going to remove the header right here. And let's just run and execute this step. As you can see, we got the capital of France is Paris. User asks, what is the capital of France? Straightforward factual answer. The answer is Paris. So that was the reasoning content. So this is out of the box working without much hassle. If we wanted to take this a step further, we can add a user prompt. And to do that, all we need to do is just copy this. I'm going to paste this in here. I'm going to put in a comma in between. And I'm going to change this to system. So here I can say, you are a geography expert. And now we say, what is the capital of Malta, for example. So we're giving it a system prompt if we wanted to. Also notice that here we have the model selection. So if you wanted, you could change the 120B to the 20 billion parameter using the appropriate name. So this is where that would happen. In my case, I'm just going to go back here. I'm going to execute this. And as you can see, I still get the answer 
which now has the system prompt. So if you want it to be all proper with the system prompt and the user prompt, you then get the assistant response right here. So you get the content and you get the reasoning. One thing I did here to make life slightly easier for me is I added a trigger. Then I'm going to use the set variable right here to set two different variables. So I have the system prompt and I have the user prompt. So in my case, this will be whatever the system prompt is. So you are a helpful content assistant. And then in the user prompt, I'm going to give it whatever I want to give it. So write me two paragraphs about pasta. So I can X out of that. I can connect that like so. And now I'm just going to insert the variables right here. So let's just execute this. I'm going to go back here and flip to expression, open this up. And now I'm just going to insert the variables into the actual body. So here, I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to use the $json.system. Copy this. And now for the user, let's just do the same, but just change this to user. So now whatever I put in the set right here, I'll be able to reference right here. I'm going to hit save, I'm going to hit execute. So now I get information about pasta, right? The versatile staple, vegetarian cuisine, etc., etc. I can change the content here and say, write me stuff to paragraphs about pizza. Exit out of this, run it again. And now I should get the information about pizza right here. As you can see, it's pretty fast when it comes to accessing it from an agent. So we didn't run into any issues with, or similar to what we had in the, their playground. We also get the reasoning content and we've got a bunch of other stuff right here. So what I did here at the very end, just to make life slightly easier for me, is I just copied the content, I copied the reasoning, and I created these as two separate output variables. So here I have reasoning and I have content which also means that if I now run this, I should only get two variables right here known as content and reasoning, which makes life slightly easier. So I just insert information here and then I get the output right here. However, none of this is technically necessary. You can just make the request right there. So short video, just wanted to bring this to you in case you were not aware that OpenAI released these two free models as well that you can run either locally or in your N8 and cloud version. And yeah, pretty good, straightforward models. Not the most intelligent, I would say. So when I was looking um, here, API platform, open models, I'm pretty sure I, yeah. And I'll end with this. So here we have a comparison between GPT OSS 120 billion, 20 billion, OpenAI 03 and OpenAI 04 mini. So many people are reverting to this 04 mini for many of their different things. So this has 93 and whatever this is, MMLU, and there's a bunch of benchmarks right here. So if we look at the 120 billion parameters, this is 90, this is 93, 93. This is 80, this is 81, 83. Humanities, last exam, 19. So here this is doing better than OpenAI 04 mini, but not as good as OpenAI 03. AIME 2024, 96, 98, 95. AIME 2025, whatever that is, 97, 99, 98. So it's not the most intelligent model, but it is up there. It's not a stupid model by enemy. So try it out, see how it goes. If you like this type of content, hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. And in the meantime, check out this last video that is coming on your screen right now to stay up to date with AI and automation.